You know, they always say that sequels can never be better than the original, and I totally get why. Especially because, like, Oppenheimer was such an amazing movie from Christopher Nolan. His best film since Inception. So it was going to be kind of hard to top that. However, I don't know how they did it, but Toho found a way to make Oppenheimer 2 even better than the first one. I am the Kaiju no Kami from the Tokyo Animation News Network, and this is my quick review of Godzilla Minus One. This video is brought to you by the Kaji no Kami store, creativitybydesignllc.com slash shop. You can buy all kinds of cool Kaji no Kami merchandise. We've got t-shirts, notebooks, pens, water bottles, and a poster. Check it out, and thank you for your business. Now back to the review. Godzilla Minus One is a prequel slash reboot, I guess. Yes, assuming they're doing their own brand new Godzilla universe that was hinted at several years ago, but it might just be a regular standalone film that's just meant to take place before the original without truly taking place before the original. Well, whatever the case is. Godzilla Minus One is the best Godzilla movie I have seen in the last 20 years. There have been some decent Godzilla movies since then, but nothing anywhere near as amazing as Minus One. We've got a great balance of human characters and drama, characters you actually like and care about, balanced out with monster action. Godzilla never overstays his welcome, but when he does show up, it is such a breath of fresh air, you're like, oh man, this was the perfect time for him to show up because I really needed a monster piece to come ashore just for this little moment, and it was worth it. Now, I won't say the effects are always hit, because there are some dodgy bits, especially sometimes the CGI for Godzilla can get a bit wonky. There was one scene where it looked like he was kind of like jittering, and I was like, ooh, that's not as good as it could be. I didn't get any vibes like Shin Godzilla, where sometimes in Shin Godzilla, I was like, oh my god, that is embarrassing. Wow, that is so awful. Here, it was like, oh, that doesn't work very well. But you know what? Everything else is so well done, I don't even care. All the practical effects that were in the movie were top notch. At least I'm assuming those are practical effects because if they weren't, god damn, Toho has really upped their CGI capabilities, which would be weird because Godzilla sometimes is wonky, like I said. The human characters are well written, you really like them, you feel for them. What's interesting is our main character was from Kamen Rider Agito and Abba Ranger. He, in Kamen Rider Agito, he was the child version of the Lord of Darkness, and in Abba Ranger he was an episode when the Trikira Mac got turned into a little child, he played the child, and now he is the star of a Godzilla film, and he is just fantastic. The girl that plays his pseudo-girlfriend, she was from Shin Kamen Rider. She does a much better job here than she did in Shin Kamen Rider. And then we have Gokai Blue as one of the side characters, who also did a great job. The All the cast members were great. There wasn't a single character I absolutely hated. There were moments you're like, you need, you're supposed to despise that character for that moment, but other times you're like, man, then I need to like this character for that moment. It was a very enjoyable film. I'm going to have to say that right now it is my favorite movie of 2023 and we're almost done. You're a Godzilla channel. Of course this is your favorite movie of 2023. No, it's that's not really why. I can like Godzilla movies. I can be a Godzilla fan and know that not every movie is good. Godzilla vs. Kong was a piece of shit. I thought King of the Monsters was a piece of shit. Shin Godzilla was good, but it wasn't like, oh my god, this is the greatest movie of the year. I liked Shin Godzilla, but I never felt that way. And I will never think King of the Monsters nor Godzilla vs. Kong is 
anywhere near the best movies of those years they came out during. I'm not just saying Godzilla Minus One is a fantastic movie, the best movie of the year because I'm a Godzilla fan and it's biasness. It's not biased, it's because this legitly was a damn amazing movie. This year has had a lot of great movies and some truly big stinkers, but then the vast majority has just been uh, meh. Where there were times I'm like, I like that movie a lot, but do I love that movie? This I loved, loved, loved. It was so well paced, so well done. The only negatives I can really go with the movie are sometimes the soundtrack felt a little too low key. There were times when the soundtrack I was like, eh, the music could be a bit better in this scene. And there were times like, okay, this music fits very well. At first I was kind of like, I don't know. And then Akira Fukube's theme came on and I'm like, oh, damn. Now that's damn good music. And then I was like, okay, the music's really fitting well in this scene. And oh, we got another Fukube soundtrack. Sweet. The music was hit or miss. Sometimes it was really good. Sometimes it was like, eh, it could be better. There were a lot of intense moments. Moments where you're like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I saw someone compare one scene to Jaws, which was like, yeah, that scene was as effective here as it was in Jaws. It was a nicely shot scene. You could tell the people behind this movie took influences from a lot of what works in movies and in Godzilla movies and implemented into their own stellar masterpiece. I am going to give Godzilla minus one a wonderful, superb, 10 out of 10. Now that doesn't mean my score might not drop on another viewing because I might go, oh yeah, well. But right now, this is a 10 out of 10 movie. Is it perfect? No, no movie is. I don't grade flaws on into its score. I just grade my enjoyability, my entertainment, and how well written of a movie it was right now. And it's a 10 out of 10. I loved it that much. I really want to see it again. I don't know if I'm going to have the time to see it again. I don't want another Cleopatra fiasco with Shin Ultraman. I'm hoping a real company, a legit company that doesn't suck will license this and they will give us a solid release in 4K that it absolutely deserves. What did you guys think of Godzilla Minus One? Let me know in the comments. Click like, subscribe, the bell notification, anything else YouTube has you clicking in to support me. You can support me on Patreon and Twitter at Toku AAN Network. And then Facebook, Instagram, Discord at Kaiju no Kami. And then my website is Creativity by Design LLC.com. You can also get cool Kaiju no Kami merchandise at Creativity by Design LLC.com slash shop. There's also a link in the description below what is your favorite godzilla movie does this one make your top 10 list let me know and until next time bye